Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Nobody Saves the World, where today something tells me we're going to get very friendly with this horse. It's just a dumb horse. And yet. And yet. Alright, uh, where's the horse on the, the growth chart? It's on the other side, right? So yeah, I have to become a C quality guard in order to access whatever we're going to access there. But I don't want to do that. I want to be a terrifying mermaid. <laughs> girls always just want to be a terrifying mermaid that rips people apart with its claws. It's me. I'm girls. Uh, do I want to pursue this? I kind of want to pursue the mermaid thing. Do we have... Oh, hell yes, I want to pursue the mermaid thing. You can be a necromancer. This game is great. Mermaid time. Yep, that's what mermaids look like. Ha! That's fine. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, hit baddies with water bursts. <laughs> Swim around in water. Okay, well we know that there are good places for us to do that. Yay! There are places where swim around in water is going to get us stuff that we couldn't get before uh we can enter the grand castle now and we totally will however first first hooray mana fairy hey there have a free mana upgrade i like the variety of visual appearances of these mana fairies there's like a there's a weird like How do I put this so anybody's going to know what I'm talking about? Branson Reese by way of Klasky Chupo kind of vibe to them uh, that I just really dig. Okay, so that's enough of that. There was one more, right? Wasn't there one additional spot? I need the map. Uh, cute. I thought there was one more spot where we could have gotten a thing by swimming. I mean... That looks like one. Oh, there's also clearly a path over here. Yeah, okay, let's go look into those. So... does this go? Hey there, have a free mana upgrade. I love you, Nelly. Nelly is the hero we all need right now. Uh, if we find one more mana fairy, then we are, um, we're going to complete another goal, aren't we? Is there a faster way back to town? Uh, you know, this is just swimming through this body of water is pretty fast. Can I get out of the water here? No. Okay. I thought the way the, um, the way the bushes separate there, I thought maybe we could get between them. I actually have to care about my health when I'm not in rat form. It's a nightmare. Okay, interesting. Or this could have been accessed from the area to the west. And there's nothing else around here that's really worth swimming for. Well, we don't know that. May as well check, right? While we're here. And then we'll go do the dungeon, I swear. Pro 
probably there's not going to be anything. But it's absolutely worth checking. Aha! Well, that's not necessarily where I want to be. Of course, there is a thing behind the waterfall. It's a video game. And particularly, it's one of these video games. I have no idea who that cutie is, but I thank her very much for her treasures. Hmm. Where does this go? Ah, okay. Not a place I'm supposed to be yet. This is that same map, actually. It's extremely close. I'm going to assume that if we got hit by a thing that was level 28, it would basically immediately annihilate me given the damage difference between level 1 and level 2 creatures. Okay. Well, we were rewarded a little bit. Yes, I am, both greedy and lazy. We could fight those things in like a sensible way, or I could just stand still and punch them over and over. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open up the big gate here and level up our amazing mermaid form. Is that a substantial star collection I see on your pale person? Magnificent, do you see the size of my claws and teeth right now, my dude? Only a strong, capable wizard could have gathered such an impressive constellation of stars. Okay, he's making up for it. You'll have to introduce me when they arrive. In the meantime, you may present the stars to the star door. Yes, thank you for your permission to do the thing I was definitely going to do without you. Okay, so these, like, these proper dungeons, are these also procedurally generated? Uh-oh. I see you, intruder. Okay, a dark presence has blocked all quest form pro or form quest progress. Interesting. So, I guess that's a pretty good way to make it so you should just use whatever form is actually most effective for you rather than constantly being focused on your uh, on your bars going up. Which is to say, it's time to be a rat again. <laughs> Plus, the rat has the easiest time searching for loot. Which, again, is very appropriate. Yo! <laughs> be gone, beasts! Taste steal! I mean, that thing doesn't look all that dangerous to me. Ah, friend, careful. I can't seem to get past this first wave. They're shrouded in demonic protections, and my sword's edge proves dull. Okay, so they have to be hit with the damage type that's shown over their heads, I'm assuming. Okay, invulnerable until they're hit with the right damage type. And then they, they can take damage of any kind. Okay. Turns out we are well suited to this task. Uh, sharp, okay. Sharp I can do. You can really handle yourself, wizard. I'm Armanda, leader of the Knights Guild. I got caught inside. Yes, that is embarrassing for you. Anyway, this is my deal. Whoa, wizard, you should change forms fast. 
Don't worry about me, I'll, I'll be fine. Nothing a bite of worm root and a flask of bitter water can't fix. You could probably just drink normal water. It would be okay. Anyway, time to murder. It does seem like maybe these, um, maybe the big dungeons are properly designed. I'm not super enthused about, like, doing a bunch of procedurally generated dungeons. I just feel like it's, um, you're going to end up seeing a lot of really uninspired samey stuff in a game where all of the dungeons are pre-generated. I, I don't know. I'm not as wild about uh, the rise of procedural generation as uh, many people seem to be. Okay. I wanted to kill most of those before we swapped. Okay, apparently they protect big trees. That's very important to them. Mm -hmm. Started charging that up while I was still facing the wrong direction. I definitely do not like this form as much as the rat. Honestly, even the slug might be a better tool for some of this stuff. Damn it. Why do I have such a hard time aiming my damn bow? I actually bought the archers um, upgrades, which we might want to do. Yeah, I totally didn't. Uh, what what kind of damage does the slug deal again? Tear burst deals light. Okay, so we do have a source of that. The other damage type is blunt. Is that right? I, we just don't have one of those. I guess our base form, the little weird little push does blunt damage. Okay. Hopefully they just won't ask for any. I think it's worth getting hit a couple of times to uh, get the poison on. So it seems like when we transform, we maintain approximately the um, the relative health level, like our percentage of our max HP between forms. Which means that we can grab, we can. Um, gain health in an absolute sense with smart form switching. The mermaid's damage is... The mermaid's damage is light. Okay. That's really not a very good type for the thing we're doing here. Damn it.
very little it is more important than making sure the poison actually gets up on an enemy. Ow. Well, I walked right into that, but I still somehow feel like it's the enemy's fault and not mine. Weird. I am definitely uh, taking an embarrassing amount of damage when playing as the archer. This would never happen if we were allowed to be the rat the whole time. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I think we've probably done enough work to be able to pass through the murder gate. Love just like a little bit more HP. I mean, dollars is fine too. <laughs> I do love this run cycle. Oh, cool. Another murder gate. At least here we are incentivized to be rat. As our Lord intended. not run into that. All right, we're doing okay. Everything's fine. I need to be maybe doing a little bit more consume. I just, re I really want to complete the poison every time before I hit consume, but that's probably not actually the right play. Damn it. Curse my tiny rat teeth. What I really need is teeth that are a reach weapon. Pole arm, like po pole teeth? You know, I imagine it's like um, it's like an orcish tank hammer from Warhammer 40k, except it's got a pair of like plastic vampire teeth on the end. And if you don't know what a tank hammer is, do yourself the favor of of looking that up and enjoying the magic of orcish ingenuity. Ow. Okay, thank you, Treasure Chest, for com uh, fixing my bad play. Compensating. That's the word I was looking for. I should cash this in so it can start ticking again. Hooray! I'm not allowed to upgrade the rat any further, am I? No, I totally am. I just, I ran out of tokens was why I didn't upgrade any further. Okay, so we can do that. Um, I do really like the slug. We have eight left. 
get to upgrade our mermaid more before we can consider those. Yeah, sure. I don't really love playing as the um, as the rogue, frankly, and I, or the ranger. I'm not gonna upgrade that form. We're gonna hope to get some some more compelling stuff to spend these tokens on. I was literally just about to say, I wish there was a, uh, a tracker for that kill door on the screen. Uh, and then I noticed that there totally is. And actually, I just need to pay more attention. This is conspicuous as hell. Yeah, it turns out being a rat is pretty great, just as I always knew it would be. I should probably not actually pick up the food when we're at full. I can just leave that there in case I need to come back. All right, do we have a floor of like light enemies now, or maybe this is the uh, the boss area? It looks pretty significant. Curious creature, it survived the dungeon. We shall feast upon its flesh. I mean, we'll see. I feel like that's not the way this is gonna go. Ow. I do wish that we could bait the boss into dealing damage to the other enemies. That would add a nice, a nice strategic feeling here. Oh, wow, that really lasted a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Okay, the poison ticking on the boss. A little slow to start moving is all. Okay. Hooray for dollars. We actually have a ton of money. And also upgrade currency. If only we can find a totally sick form to use it all on. What is that? Um, bismuth? There's a kind of real world uh, mineral that, that forms like rainbowy shelf like structures like that. It's, it's so beautiful and I can't remember what it's called now. Foul creature. 
come not between the calamity and its gem. Wait. Empty eyes. We know you. You are ours. Okay, a little over familiar here. It knows not what it is. Oh, but we know, don't we? We know. We know. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Hooray! Our nobody form upgraded. Did nobody form get new moves or anything? No, nobody nobody form is not even on the upgrade chart, it looks like. Oh, no, wait. It's the last one. Slappy Slap can uh can restore more mana. I don't know that that's I'm gonna hold off on spending on that. Man, halt! Just a bit winded. One, one sec. Okay. Uh, don't you think you can fool me? I know you're the hollow-eyed loser who escaped the basement with my wand. Thief! You have officially gone from suspect to fugitive. I cannot, I cannot. His energy is too much. He's got like a very, it's a very angry Pee Wee Herman kind of vibe. And I just, I don't know how Paul Rubens does it, frankly. I'm the wand's rightful giftee. Now give it over. And the gem shard. Yeah, obviously we're not going to do that. Escape. Nobody can catch a rat. It's well known. Oh, you want to do this the hard way, huh? Yeah, that'll work. Ah, quit messing around. I must find my master. Well, he's probably in there. Just like, just look, look at all the skulls. Well, you don't have the technique nor the pizzazz required to properly wield the wand. Ah! You're not even a certified wizard. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Later. Hopefully he'll never figure out how to get out of there. We did it. What bravery, what courage. I can't believe I had the guts to wait outside. That was nerve wracking. And we cleared my... <laughs> I love the, uh, the expression changes on nobody's face. And we cleared most of the goo off of my castle. Good job, us. Uh, hot dog, you did it. You got the gem shard. I haven't felt this alive since breaking down the ingredients for fairy dust. Fairy dust there is probably a euphemism. <laughs> yeah, you're good at this. Hey, why don't you try to get more gem shards? Great idea, Octavia. Nostromagus, wherever he is, will be pleased with our progress. <laughs> That's right. If you can find three gem shards and bring them to my lab... I should be able to harness their power to locate Nostromagus. You can? Oh, how grand. Nostromagus is going to need all the shards to confront the Calamity anyway. Oh, most thrilling. Stranger, talk to Armanda down at the Round Table's Tavern. She will lower the western and eastern gates for you so that you may set forth and find more shards. Go now, the king commands it name tag has an exclamation point in it. I want people to refer to me with a name that clearly has an exclamation point at the end. Uh, so we should probably be mermaid mode. Just for continuing to level up. I'd kick butt for Armanda any day. She's my idol. Yeah, I, I, I think I get where you're coming from on that. Science? Morality? Art? No, the gulf between man and rat is quite... Ooh, watch yourself. The gulf between man and rat is quite simple. Being able to take a punch. In that rats are actually able to do that? I see. <gasps> oh, hey there. Bah, this old dome? Well, I got this while messing around in the east on one of my fabled excursions. Damn mages and their trickeries. I want it so bad... 
I will trade you. Um, uh, well, hold on. Your head is very good. My current head is also very good. But I'll trade you my ranger head for it. We'll just, we'll just kid chameleon this shit, right? They call me the Knight Temporary. I think I will be replaced soon. Yeah, you might want to start looking for a new gig. Okay. I assume this knight is also a rat, and I love that very much. I am indebted to you. Thank you for defending the kingdom. I assume she talks like that because she's always, like, maximum flex at all times. Last night I was awoken by a horrible storm. By morning, beasts had overtaken the castle. It's unlike anything I've ever seen, but I have heard the legends. This, like, if you look at the lines around her face, like, it's clear. The, the full flex at all times is very clear, I think. A long time ago, there was a similar incident. A mysterious creature came down upon the land. They called it the Calamity. And the heroes of yore banished it with the help of a magical jewel, the Arcane Gem. After the Calamity was defeated, the gem was split into five shards. If I know my history, and uh, of course I do, one of the shards was hidden in the Witch Queen catacombs to the east, and another in the ancient robot to the west. Oh? I want to go to the ancient robot in the west. That sounds wonderful. Star cost 40. Okay. Exploding corpses, melee crit chance up. Interesting. I shall ask the guards to, lo to lower the gates for you. But before you leave, I'd be honored for you to join our scrappy gang. We are the Knight's Guild. When we lack an ability, we make up for an effort. Oh, hey. That's also my deal. <laughs> you can go ahead and talk to the guild members here to get quests. Your starting guild rank will be Squire. May good fortune smile on you. Okay, I did already save your life is the thing, so it feels like... Fine, whatever. I feel like we should start above Squire, is all I'm saying. Uh, so, okay, just do three quests. They give a lot of XP, at least. What the heck did you just look down on me for, you little twerp? I'll have you know that I, the Mighty Knight, graduated top of my class in the Knight's Academy, and I've been involved in numerous dungeon runs, and I have over 300 boss kills. You think any Randall like you can just become a Knight's Guild member whenever they want? No, not only are we extensively trained in melee combat, but we also have access to the entire facility of the King's Range, where we own our archery skills daily. But if you think you're anything more than dead weight to us, get over to the King's Range and show us that you have what it takes to complete the challenge. You'll flip and fail, kiddo. Oh, this person's Twitter feed is fucking insufferable. Pumpkin Knight, I love you. <laughs> you look strong. Could you help me defeat some monsters? Meet me at the Eldritch Gourd. <sighs> Gladly. So happily. I was going to go to the Ancient Robot first, but it looks like East is maybe, maybe the direction for us. My friend, how are you? Um, excuse me, can you help us out here? I need to defeat a strong- or I need a strong warrior who can help us to defeat some tough foes. Will you head to the Moltopia dungeon? I'll be there waiting for you. A lot of this is just going to be go do the stuff you were doing anyway, and we'll just kind of incidentally reward you on the path. Science? Morality? Okay, do I know your whole deal, you hate rats, whatever. I am Ratsbane, the One Punch Monk. I can destroy any rat with a single blow. We are going to rip this dude apart. <laughs> Bring me any rat you please. I will display my dominance over the lowly creature. Always with the dominance politics. This guy sucks and we are going to kill him right now. <laughs> nope, that's a bad job. There we go. That's how the transformation works. You wish to test yourself against my fist, vermin? Yeah, fuck you. Very well. This won't hurt. You'll be destroyed before you have a chance to feel pain. Ready? Yeah! Ow. Okay, that literally did... He did do it. That did happen. Okay, well... Well, I'll be back later. <laughs> How dare he? Have you heard of the Hermit's Bestiary? It's rumored to contain the secrets of many monsters and their hidden weaknesses. 
I believe I've found where it's buried, but I want a partner to explore it with me. If you're interested, meet me in the cave in the ancestral forest to the west. Okay, that does sound important. We should do that first. That seems like the most critical thing. All right, Laura, you and me, let's do it. So we have a billion quests, all of which award 50 XP themselves. And then once we do three of them, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be in such great shape. Uh, let us go forth to the West and earn some form points for our mermaid body. Why is that? Oh, right, because I did do this. 10 entire form points. What is it, my birthday? I really appreciate that you can actually turn while um, while charging up this projectile. Okay, I see. So the more you charge it up, the less travel you get out of it. If it's if it's fully charged, it's basically like a melee attack. Okay, that's cool. We can work with that. But it still has it still has tap fire. It seems like a good form overall. Ah, if you get hit while you're charging it, though, it completely drops. Which makes it a little awkward to use against these guys. I didn't charge it up enough for the explosion. There we go. Thanks to your efforts, we're beginning to reopen the royal territories. Beyond this gate is the ancestral forest. There are still monsters roaming in the open out there. Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. Look at, look at my face, and ask yourself, is she going to be fine? The answer is obviously yes. Okay, easy. I've become an even greater mermaid. I am so excited about Necromancer, y'all. Okay. Swipe your tail at baddies and push yourself toward them. It didn't have a damage type listed on it. Okay, so big water bursts. Recover mana with mermaids resolve by taking damage. Well, I will certainly get that. <laughs> and to flop around on land. Cool. Okay, so this is blunt. I do like mermaid form. I think it's probably worth spending some upgrade currency on. Alright, better mana restoration, better mana restoration. Putting a lot of resources into fueling this uh this tail swipe. Okay, it's fine, I guess. This is the cave Laura wanted to meet us in, right? This is approximately the position. There you are. I believe the Hermit's Bestiary is nearby. We've been looking for something like it to help us in our fight against Calamity's monsters. Now I'll just need to say the arcane magic words that will open the cave. Ahem. <clears throat> Lemon meringue! There, now we can head in. I mean, it's as magical as any other words I've ever heard. Hey there, I have a free mana upgrade. That is our fifth one of those.
I'm really hoping that when it says Necromancer, it is it means Necromancer who is also a lich, because I want so badly to get to be also a skeleton. If you are, if you, any game where you get to be a skeleton who also gets to have skeleton pals, that's like, that's even better than being a rat. Hmm, seems like there are two paths. Uh, we should split up. You take the left and I'll take the right. Give me a shout if you find the bestiary. Let me guess, the right path is like really short and straightforward. Uh, I'll take this path. Can you head left? Yeah, sorry. Uh, where, I, where I come from, under the sea, we don't have a concept of right and left. I got confused. I do think it feels like the um, the water attack is just better, but we got to use the, the fin at least enough times to finish the quest. Look, I think we found it. It should be in this chest. I do not like the fact that you suddenly have a visible health bar. Yes, this is it. It's the hermit's b bustiary. Uh, wait, what was that sound? Oh no. I'll save you kind of. Hey, don't, don't, you, you maybe share that bust here. I'm just saying for like research purposes, you know? I'm definitely concerned that I'm not actually going to be able to um, stop these enemies from hitting her. I need you to do self-defense better. My damage output is just not high enough to... Yeah. I guess so. actually tell if charging up is more DPS. Yeah, it's really hard to say. Laura, you could just like fight back a little bit. I know you have plate armor on, but also I, th I think that's all of them. Let's get out of here. As for this bustiary, I, I think it's best to just, you know, you can just, get, you can just give that to me. I'll uh, just see that it's disposed of safely. No, are we not? Okay. I'm going to go back and get it. That was a really close call. You saved my life. Perhaps we'll have better luck finding something useful next time. Okay, I mean, that's something. I did save a life. I guess we'll count that as a success. All right. More tail swiping. So, are we allowed to go to the right now? Because, like... Without joking, there probably is stuff over here that's worth having, right? Like murder. I really dig the design of that little critter. Oh, the chest isn't even... Okay, fine. I just, you know, I wanted to uh, keep it safe for historical purposes. You know. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess Laura's dead. <laughs> that melee attack animation <laughs> it punches you with his eyes is very good. I actually, I actually took damage there because I was too amused <laughs> too amused by the attack to fight back. It's a real life status effect. Okay, one more mermaid quest and then we get our necromancer. Oh, this should be that should be doable. You do burn through the mana very quickly. There we go, we're making progress. Oh, you're stuck. That's embarrassing. Of course, you know what else is embarrassing is the... Oh. I was going to say the amount of damage that I'm taking constantly. Level 30, huh? Um, let's take a magical attack increase. If we're about to play as a necromancer, magical attacks have got to be a whole thing, right? I guess we should probably also buy these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with this. Okay. Now you know what? I'm going to just buy as many of those as I'm allowed. Uh, so, a dead dragon. This is not on my quest list. I kind of do want to help the other knight, but also... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm level 7. Maybe we, uh, maybe we come back. So these enemies are the right level for me to be fighting them. Yeah, it's kind of amazing how bad the um how bad the damage on tail slap is. We're so close. We're so close. All right. I was recovering mana. It was definitely intentional. Do, do it. Show me the show me the necromancer. All right. Look at how good my magic damage has gotten. Okay, these are both very easy. This is just to do the dead dragon, which we will. We will eventually. do anything with any of the others except achieve the rank that is marked on the thing, right? Oh, we probably have to have both of these. So we have, before we can be a necromancer, we have to be an A-tier slug. Because, right, that's the only one we've seen so far that has multiple prerequisites. Yeah. Well, shit. 
Okay, I mean, the good news is the slug also deals magic damage, so... Yeah, at least all of our stat upgrades aren't going to waste. I'm probably not going to be able to get to A tier slug though, right? We're probably going to run out of quests. Maybe I should just start playing as the knight. We're going to have to do that horse thing eventually. Let, let's try to run these out. So slow people, try to find an enemy who can take more hits. You know, actually, if I can just not die, a high level dungeon will probably have an enemy who can absorb 20 blows. Let's see if we can make that work. All I have to do is not get murdered by them. And if I do get murdered by him, so what? There's a save stone outside. Once broken, enemy wards reappear after a short delay. Okay. I don't actually know what is meant by enemy wards. Is it the, um, the typed invincibility, maybe? pretty serious. Well, that was definitely at least 20. So this doesn't count. It has to... I have to be hitting an enemy that I'm dealing actual damage to. That's a shame. I thought that was a good plan. All right, well... Now my whole deal is all... My hair is all must. Look, my slime's just like all over the place. I was kind of hopeful one of those big worms would be able to survive long enough. Maybe this guy. No, nah, probably not. Cool. What if I just went out of my way to get hit by every projectile? Is this a thing that was on our map at all? I don't think so. Dungeon of Weird Fungus. Um, do you require assistance there, friend? Think, damn, think. Mm. What do you want? I don't, what could you possibly be accomplishing? My problem, I finally find the missing stone piece, but it's guarded by monsters. That's my problem. And it's not like it could be solved with a wave of a magic wand. <laughs> That's how I got into this mess in the first place. Oh, wait a second. That's no ordinary wand. Hey, 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 maybe we can help each other. Uh, but before you say no, let me repair that wand of yours. It's working at half capacity. I know a thing or two about magic and transformations. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, we all know how this is going to go. All right, don't move. Ow. There, fixed it. In you go. I wonder if that means he's unlocked the ability to upgrade our... Yeah, 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 we got more quests. So, you know all those forms that you can transform into? 
Now they can be customized with abilities from other forms. Try customizing your form. Oh, that sounds actually very good. I would like to do that. Ah, okay. So we can pull passives from the... I actually like this design a lot. So ASD will always be specific to the form, but W we can borrow from somebody else. I mean, what do I want? <laughs> we could just have two slime slides. I don't know if I want consume. I mean, I guess it's a way of healing. Yeah, sure. And then all your attacks build poison. Do more when you're low. Yeah, mermaids resolve. That's fine. That's it. Now, try customizing your form so it has sharp and dark. Remember, press tab to open the equipment menu. Okay, sharp and dark. So let me actually make this arrow flurry instead. Yeah, not bad, rookie. Okay, now use that customized form to help me get that stone. Oh. Interesting, these things are just fully immune to the slow. And get a little bit of distance so I can do that. That's it? That's all the monsters? Yeah. Hey, you did it. Thanks for helping me out. The stone piece is mine. Now you keep leveling up and you'll unlock even more ability slots. A new passive slot unlocked right now, actually. You should probably check that out. I, I'm Marty Joe, by the way. I have a personal score to settle with the one that cursed me, the dark wizard Astrolabus. Oh no! Oh damn, damn, damn. <laughs> this isn't the missing piece at all. Oh, I'm looking for one with a wedge shape like a triangle with symbols carved on it. This, this is just a rock. Okay, well don't beat yourself up about it. Okay, fair enough. That's on me. I could see that you were busy. Uh, so, we did get more quests, though. Hit baddies with blunt damage while in this form. Recover mana with the horse's horsepower. <laughs> Damn it. One of these one of these days, we're going to have to be a horse. But I don't want to be a horse, is the thing about that. I don't know if I've made this clear enough. Where does this go? Ah, the desert pass where the other side of, um, the other side of those gates that we were seeing were. Hi, what's your deal? I actually like this attack a lot more on the slug. First of all, cause the, um, the crit chance, oops. And then she ran out of mana. But secondly, knocking them back and then having them have to travel over the trail again is pretty great. What is the story with this? Huh. Where, where did a tire come from? Who is building tires in this place? I am fully off the trail of my quest at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. What the? Where's the? Oh no! I guess we're headed toward it. And that other quest is over here. Okay. Well. Hi. That lizard is extremely adorable. Hey, I know that guy. This is not even that game. I really, I don't, the thing is, I don't want to stand on the trap door. Ah, uh, fine. Hold up. Let me take a look at you. I'm a slug. Hmm, you don't look like a nobody. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. My nose never misses its mark. I know exactly who you are. How could you possibly smell anything over the slime? You violated the law. 
Your stolen goods are forfeit. Yeah, I dare ya. You must now serve out your sentence, which is down there, yeah, presumably. Okay. I'd better find and tell Randy. Ow. And he took my wand. No, he didn't take my wand. Never mind. He said it was forfeit. He didn't mean it. And also the door to the cell is on the inside of it for whatever reason. Okay, it's getting to be kind of a lot of enemies, actually. this stuff in as quickly as possible so we would have to get to a though a is tough a is pretty far out uh yeah we're gonna cap out on this before we even hit rank b well let's finish it at least Maybe when this one finishes, we'll get some new ones. That would be very helpful. Oh, hey, the shopkeeper. What's going on? I'd like to personally thank all my customers for their continued support, especially after that grave robbing scandal. I mean, listen, who among us, right? Oh, interesting. I feel like we don't need this. I'm exploring pretty thoroughly. And now we can buy new, uh, new passives from you. Okay. Ooh, that one's fun. Also seems very powerful. I mean, I should probably just leave the... But there is a dungeon right here? The thing is, there is a dungeon right here. Okay, that's cool. Ah, ah, ah. Out. Trying to make sure I'm applying the slow fully. Okay, that thing looks hardy. Maybe we can get 20 shots off on that. Do y'all mind? Frankly, oh, if I hit the big one really hard, that's not what I wanted. Okay, actually not a safe thing to just stand there and shoot at it. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Oh, there's some, There's some significant danger here. Okay. All right. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, we did get a new quest. Slow five baddies with one slime slide. That seems extremely easy to do. Um, you know what? I am going to recustomize this form with consume. That's a little, that's a little health. That's a really easy quest. And we didn't get, we didn't get a new one. Damn it. So we have to get tier burst three to actually work, which is, it's just a nightmare. 
or I have to actually do the horse thing. Uh, we can probably level up rats some more now. I don't know if that actually is very high value. Might be able to get bodybuilder. Oh, actually, I might need bodybuilder to unlock rogue, an rogue anyway. Yeah, let me swap over to here. We are definitely going to do some refiguring. Um... I mean, we do we do inflict status quite a bit. Yeah, sure. And then I'm also going to grab consume. <laughs> All right. Trying so hard to not die. Ow! That the area of that attack is a little bit larger than the graphic. It turns out. Okay. Couple of enemies down. The range. Health is better now. Now we should actually take a look at what these quests are. So Flurry, Blunt, the Rats Scavenge, which is fine, I guess. Okay, we can work with that. Except I, yeah, I unequipped my dark. Hold on. Maybe let them walk through that a little bit more. I mean, we're kind of doing okay for a while here, sort of. Uh, hit one person seven times in a flurry. That's extremely doable. I have to do it five times, though. Get more mana back when we do uh, little tap attacks like this, because it's a flat amount of mana restored per arrow. Ah, uh, right. No, not that. Sorry. Uh, turn me into a rat. Turn me into a rat. I think I have enough. Well, that's one. We're already like halfway through the scavenge thing. It didn't actually transfer. I keep. Yeah, do it. It's weirdly finicky. It does not transform you very reliably. Yeah, 
that she is so bad at generating mana. Okay, we should totally be able to get our, um, our flurry off quite easily on this guy again. Let's get a commit. These quests are a little bit, a little bit of a nightmare to work out. Okay, I think those were both good. Nope, neither one of them, in fact. wasn't even locked. Did you try it? Oh, thanks, bro. I got a bit car careless earlier and ended up getting thrown into this cell. And I'll tell you just because you saved me. I'm from the Thieves Guild. Uh, maybe we'll bump into each other again in the future. I'll be going now. Why would you give me that piece of information? Okay, well, uh, knife bro, you are safe. You're welcome, I guess. Weird. Is the Thieves... Is this the logo of the Thieves Guild, maybe? Well, that seems fine. was good, right? Yeah, we got the, the fire guy, at least. Oh, no! I think he had enough health to bear the shots, but I just ran out of mana. Okay. 16 baddies with blunt damage. Still need to do a lot of work on that front. Here's a big key, the kind of thing you might have imagined you would use to open, say, a treasure chest. That's very conspicuously blocking that little... I mean, is this the door that the key opens? Because why... Okay. I guess not. Well, we have that big door at the other end of the hallway. It's weird that the key is sitting right in front of a door with a big conspicuous cartoon lock. I guess it's weird either way, because, like, why would the key for a door be right next to the door? But also, it's weird that it's... There's such significance to that setup, you know? All right, that's one entire floor of this dungeon. Or I'm not allowed to actually use it? things just don't have enough health. Okay, this will give me some opportunities to work this stuff out. I mean, this is a pretty large total number of enemies that we're hitting here, so I'm hoping that those are actually all counting as individual hits for the, uh, for the blunt damage quest. Okay. 
the amount of things in here. Also, the, uh, the hitbox on those eye projectiles is so much larger than the graphic. So one big upside to this um, this tail slap is that it's a much faster way to apply the um, the poison. Can I get enough flurry on this guy? Probably. Well, definitely not with this much mana. Okay. Get ourselves nice and charged up. Hooray! Okay, that seems useful. But more importantly, now we have Bodybuilder. Which I potentially care about a great deal. Okay, restores 15 mana to hit people with, the, <laughs> with your barbells. Also, attacks that knock enemies away gain the impact effect. Baddies take blunt damage when knocked into walls or each other. Okay. That's a good passive for, like, the mermaid. Well, let's try it. This is That's all we really wanted from, from her. Yeah, let's go bodybuilding. Okay. Wow, look at the, um, look at the HP. I guess, actually, we should, um, we should probably equip some passives. S or some skills and stuff as well. Uh, you know, this might actually be really good to pick up and then... Uh, attacks build poison is, like, fine. I might just take scavenge. Eh, let's take mermaid's resolve. The idle animation of just flexing one by one. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Actually, I should put consume on so that we have a source of dark damage because a lot of stuff in here has dark shields. Plus, you know, consume is just kind of broadly good. Kind of unpleasant to watch him walk around. I ah, see. I needed a key for each side of the gate. You'd figure you could just open one side and then walk. Okay, whatever. It's fine. See, I only ended up using one of the keys anyway. I was going to just like jam through this dungeon real fast because I figured it would be an easy one. One of these one of these smaller, less consequential dungeons. Now this episode is going to end up being a million years long, but I'm still having a good time. I hope y'all are having a good time, too. You know, it ain't so bad. Got lots of good impact damage here. Hold on. Let's gain a form level here. I guess also a real level. Ooh, ghost. 
I'm excited to be a ghost. Uh, nearby baddies with 20 blunt damage grants an attack up buff. Okay, that's cool. So what is that going to give us quest-wise? Bench press a bunch. Okay, kill baddies with bench press while buffed. Got it. Oh, it marked... It, it was telling me about the quest completion that we'd gotten earlier. That's weird. Well, it feels like these are uh, these are happening pretty quickly. I just I just missed. I just completely missed them. trying to be greedy and hit them both with the same the same consume all right we are tearing through this 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 body's gonna level up in no time unfortunately getting it to a seems um, seems like quite a challenge That was a very easy quest to get in narrow hallways. Hit baddies with pump up. Use near baddies to deal blunt damage. That's the name of the buff thing, right? Yeah, okay. Kind of what I was already doing. Oh, right. Should probably do this first. <laughs> There we go. hard to hit people with this actually like you if you use the attack quickly after changing direction it feels like it generally attacks in the direction you were facing not the direction you are facing which is annoying okay and we actually almost accomplished these as well these are pretty easy, though. So we do have to get to A with the, um, the bodybuilder. Yeah, man. All right, so C will unlock the ghost, and then we got to get this and the slug to A to get rogue, and then once we have all of those, we can unlock Necromancer, presumably. I want to be on Necromancer so badly, but at some point I probably have to go get horse so that we can finish leveling up slug. Wait a second. All right. <laughs> yep, it's a very normal natural image. Ow! Oof! Hey, hey, watch where you're going. Don't you know there's a thieves' guild around here? The next guy you bump into might not be so easy going. Anyways, see you later. <laughs> what did he steal? But if a stranger bumps into you, that's a bad. You. Uh, 
Well, that was weird. I don't know. They seem cool. Wait a second. Oh, yep. All my stars. Okay, that makes sense. You find a note in your pocket. <laughs> Seems like a silly thing to leave. It says, if you want to see your stars again, come to the blue roofed house near Tarview Lake. The password is password. Ugh, come on. Nobody's ever learned anything about network security. Well, all right. It is just on the way to every place else we were going, so I guess that's fine. Okay. I gotta actually stop playing this game. It's... It's a lot of fun. It is it is hard to want to stop, but I do have other stuff I got to do. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, uh, tomorrow, let's say. <laughs> that's an estimate. When you come back next time, probably tomorrow, I guess we're probably going to do the horse thing. I also want to be a ghost. We'll see. Ghost, ghost stuff and horse stuff together. Who could possibly find that terrifying? And we'll see you then.